Hi, I'm Tom. This is Lucy. And this is Kitty Help Desk. So today I want to talk a little bit about microchipping because the UK has passed this amazing law that says that all cats have to be microchipped by June 10th, 2024. And I just think that's fantastic. Now they don't, they state that the cats have to be microchipped by the age of 20 weeks and the microchips have to be registered, of course. And the, uh, the only cats that are sort of exempt from this are ferals and community cats, cats that it would be very difficult to sort of collect and, and actually chip. They, they've been made exempt. Now, the only question I have about this law is how it's going to be enforced, because I, I, I believe that really the only way to enforce it would be through veterinary visits. And unfortunately, if you don't microchip your cat, then you're probably going to avoid veterinary visits because there might be a fine or they may require you to microchip and that costs 30 or $40 at the time of microchipping. In, in the UK, that's the current price. So that could become an issue with getting health care for pets. But I don't agree with those who say that's going to, to make life worse for pets because I really think that cats need to be microchipped. Now, if you're not familiar with this, this whole system, what, what it is is a, a small microchip is, is implanted. It's about the size of a grain of rice. It's implanted right here between the shoulder blades in most cases um, on a cat using a hypodermic needle. And that chip, when scanned with a specialized scanner, this is not a tracking device, okay? You, the cat cannot be tracked from space <laughs> or anything like that. Your information isn't floating around out there. It's not a transmitter, okay? It has to have this very specialized scanner and it has to be held very close to the cat. And there are actually courses on how to best scan, what the scanning pattern should be and all that stuff. And, and a lot of vets are very, very good at trying to get these codes from a cat. Uh, a lot of rescues as well. When a cat gets, gets found or turned into a rescue, uh, in a lot of cases, the first thing that's done is a scanner or sometimes multiple scanners because there are multiple formats for these chips. Uh, multiple scanners are used to try to scan the body of the cat and see if a code can be located so that the owners might be found. And that's really the whole point of this, is that if your cat got turned into animal services, then they will contact you. And in order for that to happen, this, this code that's encoded on this chip in the pet's back has to be um, matched to your information in a database. And that's been problematic for a long time because a lot of these databases, especially when you first get the chip, they, they act a little like drug dealers. The first year is free. <laughs> and then after that, you have to start paying an annual fee. You know, that's our, uh, that's our latest model of the world, right? Everything is a subscription. Well, fortunately, there are a couple of companies um, that decided they would, they would offer free registration. And let me tell you, there's no difference between the free registration and the paid registration. Now, one of those companies was... Um, the Found Animals Registry, and they have since sold their database to someone who does provide a basic level of service for free, but I don't recommend them because they mainly promote their paid services and the, these additional fees and changing your, your information, you know, automatically and all this kind of add-on stuff that you really don't need. What you need is your your name and address and phone number associated with the chip that's in your pet. That's all you need. And so they, they do offer that, but because they have done a little bit of a switch o change with their company kind of spinning this off to another company, I really don't agree with my data being shared with someone else without my consent. And so the whole thing kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. So I don't recommend you use found animals for this. But there's another service called the Free Pet Microchip Registry that you can use to register your cat's microchips. Um, and it's absolutely free. And 
So far, all indications are that it will be free ongoing. Now, in the world in which we live now, anything's possible. Who knows? Elon Musk may buy them next. But right now, <laughs> for the time being, for the foreseeable future, this is a, a, a very good choice. So you can go to freepetchipregistry.com and you can register your cat's microchips there. And I encourage you to do so even if you're using a paid service. Go to this free service and register it there as well. Because the more services it's registered with, the better. But even if this is the only one that you register with, that's okay. Most of, of like the rescues have access to all of these different databases. So that you know, if you and your pet get separated, you can be reunited one day. And that's the goal of all of this because there's nothing worse than thinking of them being out there on their own and unable to find their way home. Now I will add, here's a little bonus tip for you. If your pet does, uh, if you have like an indoor only cat that gets outside the house, more often than not, they tend to stick close to the house because they're a little bit intimidated by the sound of the outdoors, like the, the overwhelming sort of roar of traffic and things like that outside. Even in a rural area, there's a generalized sound level outside that doesn't exist inside the house. So it's important to sort of um, first look all under the house because cats tend to, just like they do inside our homes, they're going to hide low under something that makes them feel more secure. So the minute they get outside, if they can't figure out how to get back inside or they get disoriented, then they're going to hide down low somewhere probably very close by. The second thing that you can do is to put uh, your cat's litter box outside on the front porch. Um, that will give them a way to sort of home in on home again because that smell will reach them even miles away, believe it or not. If the wind is in the right direction, cats have such an insanely great sense of smell that they will be able to find their way home that way. So I just encourage you for the sake of your, of your cat's safety to A, get them microchipped because it's not very expensive and B, um, register those chips with the free microchip registry. And pretty soon, a year from now, about a year from now, in the UK, this will be the law. So please take advantage of, of the wonders of modern technology and, and help your cat to, to find their way home if they get lost. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.